Shares of Boot Barn are jumping more than 65% this year, due in part to Beyonce's country album, which has helped boost Western culture. Boot is also up nearly 20% since MTV's Neve Shulman picked it in our stock draft back on April 25th. He's currently in third place, trailing former NFL star Eddie George and mentalist Oz Perlman. Take a listen to why Team Market Fish bet on Boot Barn. I'm very excited to choose Boot Barn for uh, my, my pick. <laughs> And why? You like their, their boots? Or you know, I'll tell you why. You know, <laughs> with climate change, obviously, a, a major factor. Inclement weather is on the rise, so we're going to need boots. Uh, and, you know, companies come and go, trends come and go, but feet and hard work are here to stay. <laughs> Joining us now is Jim Conroy. He is CEO of Boot Barn. Jim, it's great to have you here. Welcome. Good afternoon. Thanks for having me on the show. I appreciate it. So which of those? Is it Beyonce? Is it climate change? Or is it hard work that is driving your sales this year? Well, let's say they, they all can take some credit. Uh, our core customer, we often say, feeds America, builds America, and protects America. So our business was very solid uh, for a long period of time and has had a dozen years of revenue growth, and it's nice to now have some more focus on it from pop culture, and perhaps that will continue to add a layer of growth on top of what the business has been doing thus far. Talk to us about the rest of the year and into 2025, expanding into more locations, different parts of the world, um, e excitement or lack thereof around profit margins, depending on how inflation trends. Sure, absolutely. Well, we're, we're a high growth retailer. We're opening 15% new units each year. So our fiscal year that just started a couple of months ago, we have set plans to open 60 stores this year. And that'll get us to about 460 stores on our way to 1,000 in the United States. Perhaps someday uh, soon we'll start looking internationally, perhaps to Canada, maybe someday to Australia. But in the in the short term, we're going to continue to focus on taking a, a very solid working model and uh, just spreading it across the communities, across the uh, the 48 contiguous states. You know, the stock market performance of the stock has, speaks for itself up 65 percent year to date, 76 percent uh, over the past year. I do want to give you the opportunity to respond to Ben Axler of Spruce Capital, a short seller who came on our air last month. Uh, and not only was critical of the business strategy that you uh, have articulated, but also was personally critical, uh, frankly, uh, of, uh, of you personally and, and of your team. Let's listen to part of what he said, and then I'll give you a chance to respond. We have problems with the business strategy and model. This is a specialty retailer that focuses on Western wear and mm -hmm. is making a, a national movement. And in that process, we think that the store economics are declining. We think that they've alienated their core customer, which is traditionally a, a male farm worker, cowboy. Now they're taking a much more fashion risk, uh, moving into geographies where there just is less demand for Western wear. So what do you say to them? Yeah, well, to, your, to the setup of the question, you know, when you're a public company CEO, you're in the public eye and there are people that like you and there are people that are critical to you. And that's fine. That's what makes the world go around. Um, yeah, we're going to just continue to focus on growing our business. The results sort of speak for themselves, right? We're, we are opening up stores. They are a large format. They're 12,000 square feet. Uh, they also pay back 60% return on cash in the first year. So it's an incredibly solid investment. We have 406 stores around the country. Every single one of them is profitable. I think the question really becomes, you know, can you accelerate growth, not are we following the wrong strategy? Uh, the strategy that has taken us to this point, uh, just in the last four years, sales have doubled and, and EPS have tripled. So we'll always have critical feedback, but for the time being, the strategy is working for us and we continue to just uh, focus on is the future growth and taking sales and earnings forward.